Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and I've been digging into this happiness science and specifically the guilt some people are having for being happy. Maybe the global pandemic didn't crush you like it did others and you feel guilty. We look around and we see so much injustice and politics and vitriol and it makes us question our own personal happiness. What the researchers say is that we get to be happy even in the face of all of this heaviness. We can frame happiness in a way where we get to be happy and also not negate the injustices in the world. Injustice should not preclude our own happiness. A lot of the happiness science indicates that happiness is up to you. It's why you can read about the prisoners who were jailed for a crime they didn't commit and they were still happy in prison and happy when they got out. And you wonder, how did you survive? Of course, these are injustices and We're seeing a lot of them these past few years, and we should absolutely speak up if that's what we're called to do. But those injustices should not preclude our happiness. So today, I wanted to leave you with a powerful quote I recently saw and invite you to be your happiest self. Nelson Mandela said, resentment is like drinking poison and hoping it will kill your enemy. Wow, that's powerful, right? Until next time.